If you're thinking about selling your home, one of the most crucial things that you can do is price your home correctly. So I want to talk to you today about why more than ever before, pricing your home correctly is so important. The real estate market is changing. It changes every day. We've seen a lot of change over the past three to five years. And in today's competitive market, the price you set is going to make or break your sale. Back when I first started selling real estate, you could overprice a house a little bit. People would still come look at it. You could still get offers. It wasn't a big deal. And back when I first started selling real estate in 2012, the average time on the market was six to seven months. So you didn't have a stigma because your house had been on the market for four or five, six months and hadn't sold. So when you overprice your house now, it does make it a bigger mistake than ever because people have online evaluation tools. They can see exactly what Zillow, Redfin, Realtor.com says your home is worth. They're going to know if it's overpriced and they're not going to come look at it. Buyers are more informed than ever thanks to the internet. So it's very easy for them to compare prices, to look at market trends, and even to find an estimate of the value of your home. So when you overprice your house in this type of an environment, it leads to immediate negative consequences. Your property may sit on the market for an extended period of time. And in today's market, if a house is listed for 30, 45, 60 days without going under contract, buyers become leery of that home. A, they know it's overpriced, but B, they figure there has to be something else going on with it that nobody has put an offer on that house and gotten it under contract. Another reason that overpricing your house can be risky as a seller is that let's say you do find somebody who is willing to pay that premium price, but they have to finance it. What about that appraisal? Two or three years ago, we had people who were waiving the appraisal gap. Like that was the big thing is people said, I don't care if it appraises or not, I'll still pay you that price. Yeah, we're not getting that as much today. So if you overprice your house, even if you get a buyer who agrees to that price, if it doesn't appraise, then it doesn't really matter because they're not gonna be able to close the deal. And let's not forget about the impact of pricing on marketing efforts. I have people that I will tell them, I think your house is worth about 300. That's, that's where we need to be is 300,000. Well, let's start out at 325 because I can always come down, right? And they think there's going to be a cash buyer from California or Florida that comes in and just swoops it up at 325. But here's the thing. If you overprice your house and you put it at 325 when it's a $300,000 house, it's not reaching the right buyers because people are looking at $325,000 homes they see what the competition looks like at 325 and they know that your home is not a 325 home but people who are looking at three hundred thousand dollar homes are not even seeing yours when you price it at 325 because why would they look at that when they know they can only purchase at the 300 mark so you're missing out on that potential buyer when you overprice your home so what's the solution to all this Make sure that you hire a real estate agent who knows the market and who will guide you accordingly. I say agents are order takers because they walk in, they ask the seller, so what do you want for your house? And they write that price down. They don't run a CMA. They don't offer pricing advice. They just do whatever the seller tells them to do. That's an order taker. You want an agent who has run a comparative market analysis for you who's going to be honest with you about what the market says your home is worth today. If you're looking to sell your home and you want an agent who's going to shoot it to you straight, I'm Amy Schrader with Remax Real Estate 10. Feel free to leave a comment or send me a DM.